The video games industry is a vast field with many specializations and is ever changing. In the early 90s, games were often made by individuals or only a handful of people. 1993's Doom, for example, was largely developed by a programmer, two game designers and two artists. This meant that a lot of responsibilities like level design were often handled by the game designers or spread across the team. Often the same person was responsible for coming up with the setting, writing the story, implementing the visuals of the game levels, designing the game mechanics, scripting the encounters, testing, and as games got more and more complex, also setting up lighting and even mixing and implementing audio. A level designer really took full ownership of the level and did it all themselves. From the early 2000s onward, the big budget game projects became more and more complex to a point where one person owning all of the level pipeline became unsustainable. Nowadays, it's usual for a dedicated writer or story-focused game designer to handle the plot and narrative progression. Various specialized artists create the visuals that the games world gets populated with, like modular architectural pieces, animated characters, visual effects, dressing props, and virtually everything that the player sees. The design team works on the blueprints for the game's mechanics, systems, features, enemies and combat encounters, and how the storyline intersects with the gameplay. Audio engineers create and often implement the sounds for the game, where a variety of programmers write the code that actually runs the game, as well as create or modify tools for the rest of the team to work with. In the middle of all of that, as part of the design team, there's the level designer. Level design is where all the work from the team comes together and is given a place in the game. The level designer starts with a conceptual design of the game space, working with the content and constraints of the project. Where does it take place? Which part of the story plays out here? What do we want the player to feel and experience? The level editing tools and game engines tend to vary a lot between different studios and projects. Though, generally, the level designer will start working the conceptual ideas into a playable game space, going through various phases of placing, sculpting, testing and refining geometry, placement of enemies and various interactive elements, and often using forms of visual scripting to set up specific game events or enemy encounters. The specific requirements for a level designer often change depending on the project and studio as well. You usually won't be required to be a full-fledged 3D artist or programmer, but some rudimentary understanding of those fields will be expected. Your main responsibility is to design and create playable spaces for the player that are fun, challenging, exciting, and get the most out of the game story and mechanics. If you want to learn more about what a level designer does, Check out the other videos on my channel where I dive into different aspects, techniques and methods of level design. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.